Welcome back to Sidemen Reacts. Today you have myself, Harry and Vic, reacting to places you should never search on Google Earth. Oh, right, don't show this to Josh, he'll send us there in a video. Oh, that's right, a good right. point, actually. That's oh. a very good point. Be careful. <laughs> no one point. show this to Josh. All right, let's, let's see what we got. Google Earth allows you to explore the entire world. It is but sick, there are you know. some places oh. you should never search. Okay. Welcome back, Charlie here. You're about to see some of the most scary and mysterious places oh. on Google Earth. Oh, they got a Google Earth go camera there. It's a satellite, man. Yeah, maybe yeah. they're blurred out. There's a lot of them. They get like, they get like. Or they get the Yeah, they get updated. Yeah. I was on. I was, I'm pissed. I was on Google Street. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, yes. And they, but they, they removed me. They got rid of you. I, I think what's but happened they blur is like, you are update the phone. No, no, they no, no. Because even then, you can go back in time and see previous ones. But I think I put it in my video, and people have gone and fucking reported it, and now uh, it's gone. I'm human. I keep checking. History. I have to warn you. Many of these places have incredibly dark backstories. Oh, okay. First, Ooh. let's head over to Norman. K in the Bahamas. There is something very mysterious Sounds hiding in these waters. Yeah. Can't see it? What about now? As you can see, there is oh, a, it's plane a plane. In wow, the water. wait, I've got to look at that. You may wonder cool. what happened to, to this there. crashed plane yeah. and why has it never been recovered? Well, this plane was actually owned by one of the most evil men to ever live. Ooh. I am talking about Pablo Escobar. Oh, Pablo cool. Escobar is the most. I'm still saying we need to do hide and seek on his island. Just so. I back it, man. I yeah, back it. That yeah. would it would bang. It would bang. It would bang. Famous drug lord and narco terrorist of all time. He was the founder and sole leader of the Medellin cartel of Colombia. And he is responsible for taking over 4,000 lives. But, but I'll tell you what, actually, the, sh end? the show was sick, though. You watch the show, the, the... Narcos. Yeah, yeah, that was. I enjoyed that you one. You know what? I've never watched it. I enjoyed it because it was based on like real life. Like it was like a, it was it was like documentary style. It not documentary style, but like it, it, it like happened. So it's kind of yeah. quite cool. Yeah. Well, Pablo Escobar had many planes going from the USA to Colombia. On the way, the planes would use Norman's K up, as a refueling point. But this plane. <laughs> no, he's trying to fly the other way. <laughs> the crew dumped all of their illegal cargo into the sea. This was so the plane would run on less fuel. But this wasn't enough, and the plane still crashed into the that sea, would be so sick taking the life of the yeah. pilot yeah, I, and I, 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 that's on my bucket Everyone list. was way too that's scared sick. to touch this plane. And even the local government did not want to go near it because of how feared Pablo Escobar Jesus. was. So that's why to this day, Pablo's plane remains here. That is really away cool. And dissolving underwater. Now yeah. let's take a trip to Florida, USA. Take a look at this neighborhood. <laughs> it looks pretty normal, well, that's right? that's interesting. Well, that's what everyone thought for 20 years. Until one man who was browsing Google Earth noticed something strange. Does it spell if something? If you zoom in, you can make out a shape in this lake. Oh, no. And this shape is actually a car. The car belonged to a man named William Mould. Oh, when he was 40, he went for a drive one night and never returned home. It was a mystery because him and his car were never found. His family lost hope, but they never forgot about William. But after 20 <laughs> years, someone noticed the car on Google Maps. See, why would you see that and then it goes the effort of like, what? being like, oh yeah, we should investigate this. Because, I mean, were they? Nah. The Google Earth user wow. contacted authorities. What? And they pulled the car out of the Fuck. lake. Inside, they found a body. And it was later confirmed to be William. Wow. Found 22 years after he went missing. That's crazy. It's believed yeah. William accidentally drove off the road and into this lake. It's very sad that he passed away. But his family were grateful to finally yeah, have closure now. Yeah, what happened yeah, yeah. to him after all these years. Now they can finally have closure and know that William did not run away. How he ended up in that? How he ended up there off that road? Off this road here. Don't forget, this is like 22 years later, so things yeah, but might would there not be in like? Sure, surely you see like tire tracks or something like that. Not, not 20 years later, you wouldn't see shit. No, not now, but like but the, they, the morning after, <laughs> surely there'd be a, a someone's back garden's been driven through. Take a look at this scary discovery made in Antarctica. Ooh. In 2020, a Google Earth user spotted something strange in Antarctica. As you can see, it appears there is a body that's been left in the snow. There are many research stations in Antarctica, and it's believed one of these scientists may have ventured out and got lost in the snow. It's a very wow. creepy and mysterious find. Ugh. That's because this place is so remote, no one is able to go out but here and check. That body looks huge. It looks huge, no? That's yeah. what I, was... mm, I feel like that could just be, like, if there's enough breaks in the snow. 
yeah, just one's going to look like itself. a person. That's my, yeah. my suspicion on that yeah. one. Maybe at some point in the future, we will have more answers about this mysterious figure. But for now, who this figure is remains That's a Google really Earth no mystery. Mm, yeah. But I think an even more mysterious place on Google Earth is found in Aragua Island. Mm. Aragua Island is a tiny island in Tanzania. If you go here on Google Earth, there isn't much to see. But there is a photosphere. If you click on this, you see something incredibly scary. There <laughs> appears to be a dark and dingy room. Scary. All over the walls, there are red splatters. <laughs> and written on the door, it says you trusted the wrong guy. It Jesus also says Christ. you're too late. Turn back now. Well, that's added and to there on. also appears Bro. to be a figure holding some Wait, kind what? of weapon. You may be asking, what's going on here? The room does seem to be real. But clearly things have been added. Okay. For example, the man appears to be computer generated. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, this is like Tony's hat, like, fake. That, like but a either way, this location prank. raises many yeah. questions. Like someone's Where just is taken yeah. a picture of a room, made it look creepy and then just dropped it there. Yeah. Why yeah. They, yeah. Why they Who created it? this the image? Splash, the splash? And yeah. why did they yeah, put okay. it on a Rugwa Island? It's safe to say this place is incredibly creepy and mysterious. Some have even compared it to, to the, the back, back rooms. Room. Wow. But right now, this so find the remains a- Yeah, what's the back rooms? I don't know. It's back. a game. I played it on more, on, on more side then. No, I think <laughs> it's, the, it's the fucking most... game that uh, they made me play <laughs> and didn't tell anyone else to play it. So the videos I thought was going to cut between different- it was just, oh, It's just me playing oh, the back yeah. rooms. The one you was... played for Halloween. Was it yeah. scary? Yeah, it and scary? it stunk and it was just me playing it. And I quit <laughs> after like two levels because I asked oh, so someone else will pick up the slack, but no, it's just me. <laughs> If that ain't Harry in a nutshell, by the way, <laughs> someone else will pick up the slack. That should be your fucking slogan, by the, the, the way. On, on, on games, there's no, I can't get past that, especially on these fucking backroom games where you, you just go around in circles. I couldn't work it out. Harry, someone else will pick up the slack, Lewis, <laughs> is your name. Scary Google Earth location, which is not mysterious at all. In fact, we almost know too much about this place. Oh, if you go to this neighborhood on Google Maps, it looks pretty normal. And when you enter street view mode, you simply see nice houses on a sunny day. Except for this place. You may wonder Ooh, why one house on this street is blurred out. Why would Google Maps censor this house? Well, this house was one of the worst crime scenes in America. Oh, the house is 2207 Seymour Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. It, it belonged to a man named Ariel Castro. He is one of the most evil oh. criminals to ever live. No, go on, go on, go on, go on. and imprisoned three women at this house. Yeah. He kept them captive in the basement for over 10 years. But eventually one of these women escaped and they were freed. Of course, after Ariel was arrested and imprisoned, the house was abandoned. But because the house is so creepy, many people yeah, began to live next in. door to that. They like, had a oh, morbid yeah. curiosity about how the inside of this evil house looked. So that's why Google Maps decided to blur out the house. Your they house hoped Prescott that by censoring this in house, in less yeah. people would go here and break I it. I hate to be that guy, but that's going to do the opposite. You yeah, censor you... something everyone wants to know more about it. Like, yeah, really yeah, like sure. Stinker there, Google. I'm not sure why anyone would want to go to this terrifying house. And I can see why Google Maps chose to censor this house. Now let's head over to the island of Fiji. Ooh. Do you notice anything strange off the coast of this tropical island? If That's not, it. then how about now? As you can see, a plane has crashed off the coast That's of this real. island. Oil has leaked out of the plane into the sea. And this bright light is the plane reflecting in the water. It's scary to think who could have been on this plane. I did some research, but it seems the reason this plane crashed is unknown. Now let's look at a very mysterious place found underwater. This location is found off the coast of the Bahamas. You may be wondering what these mysterious squares are in the water, but here's where things get even more weird. Okay, so you can how's actually the go into street in view. Then? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not too sure. They must have a Google submarine. They must have oh, a Google or submarine. Divers, or divers. Oh, that's not, that's not as fun, is it? Divers isn't fun. Google sub is better. Yeah, Google submarine. Many believed that this was some kind of lost city found underwater. And there were even some people online speculating this may be the lost city of Atlantis. <laughs> but I have an explanation <laughs> for this mystery. Atlantis, it turns right. out these mysterious underwater structures are actually a coral nursery. Fragments of coral are placed on metal coral trees. 
They then grow large and healthy enough to become coral reefs. This is a project being done by people restoring the coral reefs ah. of the Bahamas. Various other coral that. That. nurseries have been found on Google Earth. And many people wrongly believe they're Atlantis or some kind of lost city. Atlantis may be real, but it certainly is not here. Now, going back on land, let's look at this very small town in the Czech Republic. Nothing untoward here, but it looks a bit. Looks very like normal. A ghost town. But what if I told you it literally is? If you enter Google oh. Street ah. mode on this oh. church, you can see it's filled with ghosts. The church is called Costel Severo Giri, and creepy. all around the abandoned church are statues of ghosts. Why? That's Why? <laughs> Surely people are having actual church sessions with like this going on. Like it's abandoned, so I think they're trying to just wedge this abandoned yes. town and Some believe block these the statues may have been grave markers, but it's very eerie how they appear to be sitting on the pews oh, as if they're real like people. Yeah. Of course, many say this church is haunted. It was created in 1352 Gosh, and is no longer old. used today. It's safe to say this is one very terrifying sight to see. Moving on, Ooh. let's look at this very scary sight in Antarctica. In the Antarctic Ocean, there is a very mysterious dark blob. Wait, what? But if you zoom into this blob, you see what appears to be a kraken. Krakens are said to be gigantic octopuses. Right. Uh, yeah, how and can you tell that from that? That, sure this could be what we're looking that ain't at. no kraken. I'm not a kraken when I see one and that's not it. <laughs> That's not it. Right now, the creature does appear to be an octopus, and it's clearly massive in size. Does it? It also seems to have a big white this? eye, and is making humongous waves in the water. I can see this the waves. area That's of the it. ocean is very unexplored, and researchers say we don't really know what lives in the Antarctica waters. So perhaps krakens or something similar are a real phenomena here. Also in Antarctic waters appears to be a real Sorry, megalodon. I'm, 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 what, what is like this? dark bit so like why is it why is that why is it so dark i don't know but then on the right it looks like fakely blue so maybe that's yeah. what it actually looks like yeah i don't know dick yeah. waters appears to be a real megalodon shark at least that's what many people are calling it so. located in this yeah. dark patch of water seems to be a massive ocean creature some have said this could be a whale or shark but others say Mate, it's far if you're too a big creature to be big enough to be on Google creature. Earth like that, you're and massive. that's why some mm. speculate this could be a real life big megalodon spell. still alive today. <laughs> Finally, let's head over to Houston, Texas to see one more very scary Google Earth mystery. Okay. This looks like a very ordinary cul de sac until you enter Google Street View mode. Then, if you approach the house at the end of this road, you see a very ominous dark figure Ooh. on this unbuilt house. Oh my house. gosh, that's creepy. There are many yeah. theories as to who this could be. Strange dark could it be figures a have builder, been maybe? All over yeah, I was going to say. And many say that I was going to say, I think it just happened to be like the like fucking site camera. operator was there. But right now, yeah. this remains Why is he a stood total there? mystery, Why is he not and we don't really... He's surveying. He's surveying. He's, He's surveying the, the scene. All the joints are all good, and it's all going along nicely. It's too creepy. Stance. I don't like his stance. <laughs> you know what this is. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Jeez. Comment below which Google Earth find Ooh, was okay, the boys, most... Okay, boys, which one did you find the most scary? Ooh. I think... The church was fucking creepy, man. The church was Yeah, creepy. the church, yeah, I would say. Yeah. But what made me feel the most uneasy, I would say, it's actually the, the, the ocean ones, which is like, wow. The fear of the unknown. This the big, mystery. black, like, dark blue, empty, like, chasm. I don't know. The ocean is scary, so yeah. I'll give you yeah, that. You don't have to tell me that. All right. Well, thank you for watching, boys. Hope you enjoyed, and we will see you, well, very soon.